Our team coverage now moves to Huntsville. Tonight, we are hearing from the local NAACP for the first time since yesterday's indictment. Way 31's Max Cohan is live after talking with the Huntsville Madison County branch president. Max. Jerry Burnett says yesterday's decision was a step in the wrong direction, and he knows other people in the area are also upset with what happened. Justifiably so, because we can't see any justice in what we saw happen in Louisville, Kentucky. On Wednesday, one officer involved in the Breonna Taylor case was charged with wanton endangerment, but none were directly charged for her death. Jerry Burnett said it's frustrating to see. If the system felt like what they did was justified in allowing the officer to, then why did they pay a $12 million settlement? You know, if, if that right there says you're guilty, you pay the settlement. Burnett told me he's been thinking about the incident a lot recently and told me while he doesn't want to make it about race, he feels there are things that can't be ignored. On my way down here, I was trying to think to myself, what would have happened if the police officers, the three that were involved, had been all black and that the lady that was killed had been white? Would we be having this conversation or would those three black police officers right now be in jail for murder. But now he's encouraging people to take a role in creating the change they want to see and make sure they vote. That's how you change policies. Go out and vote and change the policies and from the top down. In Alabama, you have until October 19th to register for the general election, something Burnett is encouraging everyone to do. Reporting live in Huntsville, Max Cohan, Way 31 News.